Massive news for Bitcoin, but terrible news for freedom. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, guys, wherever you are on this beautiful world. Whenever you're watching this video, welcome to the Bitcoin family channel. For the newcomers, my name is Didi. To be or not to be, that's what the video is today about. Uh, yes, of course, the news. Yes, of course, amazing Bitcoin charts to show you where we are and an inspirational quote. But the news today is very important. Let's quickly jump into the news now to show you exactly what I mean, guys. The first news item is very bullish and very positive for Bitcoin. This is that Apple just announced that they are going to open up their NFC, which means even third parties can now create dApps and apps that you can use for tap to pay. You won't be only able to use tap to pay if you have an Apple wallet, but now also with other dApps. So yes, all Bitcoin developers of all those wallets, whatever Bitcoin wallet it is, can now incubate and integrate tap to pay into their software which means we will be able to use our telephones to pay directly with Bitcoin. Tap to pay, guys. This is insane. This is a huge development. This is huge news as Apple has millions of users. Millions of users will now be confronted with all kinds of apps that you can use to directly pay with cryptocurrency through tap to pay. This is massive news for the industry. I know it was a very small news item, but I believe that a lot of developers will jump into this and start to develop really cool dApps that we can use to have to pay for Bitcoin, Ethereum, and other cryptocurrencies, guys. Don't underestimate this news because Apple is a huge company and they opening up their NFC to other companies now be able to create all kinds of tap to pay functions in your iPhone it's amazing news for Bitcoin. CEO from Circle, that also has a stablecoin, already announced that they are gonna look into adding tap to pay to their apps as well. So yes, huge news for crypto, guys. All those uh, developers will be able to create all those beautiful apps in uh, the United States, in the UK, in Brazil, I think, in Australia, I think even in the UK, but not in Europe yet. There's not one of the 27 European countries listed uh, that will be able to integrate that function. So all the other the rest of the world is able. Uh, uh, Europe is kind of fucked, guys, and I'm going to talk about Europe a little bit more because of freedom, because I believe that Euro is really fucked, but let's get to that a little bit later. There's another cool development to payments, and that's with uh, MetaMask, because I saw that MetaMask is creating their own path of payment possibilities now. By a co-op with BanX and MasterCard, they are now creating their self-custody debit card which means you will be able to connect a debit card to your metamask wallet and just pay with your crypto wherever you go with that debit card and of course the debit card you will probably be able to uh, add to apple pay or maybe they will now integrate with a new nfc opening up uh, the possibility to tap to pay directly with your virtual metamask pan x mastercard debit card something like that guys but this all means collectively adoption in bitcoin is growing the moment we simplify the use of Bitcoin for all those people out there, for your grandmother, but also for your little nephew, the moment we simplify the usage of Bitcoin, that is the moment they will start to use it more and more and more. And simplifying means that they will be able to huddle their Bitcoin, but also spend their Bitcoin. Because that is the power of Bitcoin. It's not only the gold of the 21st century and the store of value of the 21st century that will make your capital grow, it is also still a peer-to-peer -peer cash. And the moment we simplify the process of storing your Bitcoins non-custodial in your self-custody wallets and being able to enjoy that capital growth through spending it peer-to-peer -peer at stores by tap to pay, that is the moment it becomes really simple. And that's the moment everyone will be able to use it. And that's the moment the adoption curve will grow even more steeply. And that's also the moment the demand for Bitcoin will grow more steeply. And as you all know, the supply won't grow. The supply is decreasing every four-year cycle. The demand is growing every four-year cycle. This will lead again into higher prices. Now let's jump into that second news item. That is uh, about Europe and freedom, guys. Something really sad happened. A guy in the UK was sentenced into three years imprisonment because of a tweet because of a post on X. 
after three girls were slaughtered on the streets by a couple of immigrants, this guy tweeted, guys, where are you? Where is the UK? We should go onto the streets, something like that. And because he tweeted that, he posted that on X, he is now sentenced three years imprisonment. Where is the freedom of speech in that? Is the freedom of speech in Europe completely gone? Is Europe completely gone? Is Europe like completely fucked? I believe that Europe is at its end. This is not okay. The European Union needs to step in and change is directly very quickly because else it won't be Europe anymore. In my opinion, most European people don't like what is happening in Europe at the moment. They didn't vote for that. They vote for beautiful lives. They vote for freedom lives. They vote for freedom of speech. They vote for freedom of being who you want to be. They don't vote for not being able to post something on Facebook, X, Instagram, whatever, that could lead to imprisonment. That is not freedom. That is a social credit communist system that doesn't give any freedom rights to their people. And I can't believe that the UK switched to that kind of country like this. Something is happening, guys. Something way bigger is happening. I am very happy that we as a family are moving very soon to Thailand because I don't know what the fuck is going on over here. But apparently, I can't even say anymore in my YouTube videos or any other videos or on my expos what I want. I can't even repost it anymore because even reposting is a criminal thing to do in the UK. So I won't ever, 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 ever go to the UK anymore because before you know it, I will fly to London to some kind of cool Bitcoin conference. I will be held there like at the border and they will tell me, hey, stop, you said some things on X about the UK, about our system, you will go into jail, you will go into prison. Very quickly now, bam. I will never step one foot in the UK ever, 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 ever again if the UK people accept what now just happened. A guy going into prison to post something on social media. Even elderly people were arrested because they shared their opinion, their freedom of speech on Facebook. This is impossible. Either this is again a strategy of divide and conquer, make people worry about some stupid stuff that doesn't matter so that they can introduce the next, whatever it is, monkeypox, bird flu, whatever they will be, but this seems to me the same strategy that they had last time, divide and conquer. I can't believe that this is really happening and that UK people are just saying, ah yeah, okay, go onto the streets, go protest. I hope protesting is still legal in the UK. I hope going into the streets is still legal in the UK, but if that is legal to do a protest and to go into the streets, that I expect the whole UK to stand up for this guy. This guy was standing up for three little girls that were slaughtered. And he was just standing up through a post on X. You can't let this guy now fall down into three years of prison. The whole UK should be standing up protesting against that decision because that's the worst decision I've ever seen. And that decision might be a small decision to you guys, but in the end, this is a huge decision for freedom of speech, for all your freedom rights in the UK. So I don't know what is going on there. Please comment down below if you're from the UK. Please let me know if I'm completely wrong again. But I think now it's time to be or not to be. And it doesn't mean to Bitcoin or not to Bitcoin. That means to be or not to be for everyone there in the UK. Are you just there for yourself? Are you just there to just listen to those 1% elite that just take control and just give the UK to all kinds of people that come into the country now? Or are you there to be as a collective for all of the UK? To keep the UK a freedom country, at least a country where freedom of speech is celebrated by whoever that lives there. It doesn't even care 
who lives in the UK, what kind of race it is. It doesn't matter what kind of religion it has. It needs to have freedom of speech. That's one of the human rights. If you don't have that, then what do you have? But guys, who am I to talk about the UK? I'm not living there. I'm not even born in the UK. I just feel very sorry for um, all the people that live there and that now don't have freedom of speech anymore. And maybe that will even like, you know, go into the Europe as well now. Yeah, nobody is able to have freedom of speech anymore. So for me, it's just a fight against that. I want to have freedom in any kind of way, guys. But uh, maybe I should shut up about this and let's jump into the Bitcoin price now to show you exactly what I see on the charts, what is happening, and what I expect for the next couple of months. Let's jump into the charts now first. The first chart for today, guys, is this four hour chart. On this four hour chart, we can see volatility, beautiful times for our bot to be trading. Again, some profits. If you know more about the bot, go to thebitcoinfamily.com and you will find more information over there, guys. Buy, sell, buy, sell, buy, sell. Looks so simple. Uh, if you have our uh, access to the VIP indicator setup, go to um, also our website, you will find how you get access to the VIP setup, the VIP group, etc. Amazing times. Uh, there's a lot of supportish area around that 59, 58k to 60k. Um, becomes time that we break out to the top to the zero line, 63, 65k, and then start to move in that area again. But now give it some time. It's a sideways movement at the moment for Bitcoin. It's still summer. It's August. Uh, it can take all the way up to mid-September before we start to break out, guys. Um, if we look at the Gaussian channel, there's a five-day chart. Every candle is five days. Uh, this one doesn't look really positive at the moment as we had a candle close inside. It wicked even to the mid of the Gaussian channel. The next candle was trying to break out. It did break out and close above it. Then the next one opened and closed above it. But this one now again is inside that Gaussian channel and closing in three days and 18 hours. The positive part would be if we close it above 60K, guys. If we close it above the top of that Gaussian channel. The top of that Gaussian channel at the moment is to be clear, 58,543. We need to close this candle above that area to stay positive. If not, that Gaussian channel could suck us completely to the mid of that channel with a 52K, even to the bottom of the channel, which is at 45K, guys. So normally this Gaussian channel works like quicksand a little bit. Uh, like you can see over here, when you break out, this is the bear market bottom here on the left. Then you break out, then you come and retested it. And if you just get sucked into it, just like this, look at this candle with a long wick to the mid and then smaller candles, but you got sucked into it to the mid. And then we were strong enough to break out again of that Gaussian channel to create that first massive run in this bull market. So that could happen again if we close this candle inside this channel Yes, we could be sucked into the mid area of 52, 53K. So let's hope that that doesn't happen. But if it happens, you know that it would be part of the scenario. That doesn't mean the bull market is over. Let's go back to show you this as well a little bit. Uh, wait, I maybe need to switch then to this chart for you to see even better. Sorry for that. Um, because here we can see in the previous bull market, this was the top 21 top. We had the same thing happening. We were sucked back into that Gaussian channel, even to the bottom, back to the top. We couldn't break out. Covid crash. It even turned red. We came back to the top and still had a huge run. But that took a long time. It took a long time. Guys. It took from here all the way till we went in over there. 53 bars. That's 250 days. That's like yeah, a very long time, guys. It's like seven, eight months before we uh, again went bullish. So it's not very positive, but it's also not really drama if we would not keep that top uh, level here of support or the midline, guys. Let's see what happens. Uh, not too many drama. I will go into the next chart, the weekly chart we held on a 200 weekly moving average. That is what we can see. So that's very positive. Uh, let's see, guys. Th these candles are indecisive candles because uh, they have large wicks. Small tiny bodies, they, they, wanna, they don't know which direction to go. This large wick here should be our savior, should be pushing us up above that 60k level again and then fight that 65k level at green line to stay above that the rest of the bull market. Let's see if that will happen, guys, but that's what I think at the moment. Um, we still have a higher low, higher high, higher low, higher high, higher low, higher high, higher low. 
we should be able to create a new higher high somewhere over there in the weekly charts guys now let's jump into some more interesting charts i found for you on twitter yes it's a little bit longer video but um, again this monday i need to share some stuff with you this is the first one guys this is of course a table it's not a chart but in this table you can see that at the moment and um, how the bitcoin wealth distribution is this is from may so it's not completely up to date i couldn't find a more up to date one if you have one let me know down below but this is a distribution from may which means 1.4 million bitcoins are held by shrimps shrimps are people that hold zero to one bitcoin crabs are the people with one to ten bitcoin in total 2.1 million bitcoins are held by the crabs the fish are the people from 10 to 100 bitcoins. This is in total 4.3 million bitcoins are held by the fish. 3.8 million bitcoins are held by the sharks. These are the people between 100 and 1000 bitcoins. Now, the biggest amount of bitcoins at the moment is in the hands of the whales. This is 1000 plus bitcoins. This means that these people, the whales, exactly understand what's going to happen in this cycle. They understand they need to hodl and accumulate more Bitcoin. That's why most of the Bitcoins are in these strong hands. Less and less Bitcoins are here in these weak hands because they keep selling to those whales, those strong hands. These numbers are becoming smaller. This number is becoming bigger. You can see at that day it was here decreasing tremendously, increasing tremendously. So the whales were accumulating and all the other smaller ones were selling. If you look at the weekly change at that moment, all of these were selling. The whales were accumulating. The whales understand that Bitcoin is fully integrated now into the economy as a store of value, as the goal of the 21st century. That is why these wills keep accumulating. And you keep freaking out about every five minute and 10 minute and four hour chart, while you should just be buying each and every dip. Now, next chart. This chart is showing us a day chart, Ichimoku analyst. And it's showing that we see a crossover over here. This is on a daily chart, so the MACD is crossing bullish. This was on the 18th. Let's see what happens today. But this crossover always is a bullish crossover. These bars will start to turn green again. That's beautiful. And we are above this blue line, which is very positive, which means we will probably be pulled towards this cloud. This is like functioning as a magnet now. So this is pulling us toward that cloud. And the cloud is around 62 to 64K. So the moment we stay above this blue line, guys, is very positive. The moment this red line is going to cross the blue line to the top, also very positive. That means we will be pulled towards this. And then the moment we start to close candles above this cloud, of course, that will become a support area. Cool chart. You can find it on Twitter of Titan of Crypto. Really cool level to watch at the moment. So we need to keep holding that level there around 59k guys a very cool chart also zoomed out it's a weekly chart on the bitstamp weekly chart it's showing you that the halving last time in 2020 happened there on the 11th of may and after the halving it took 160 days of sideways movements the red box sideways movements 161 days before we turned into this green box and went massively up into that bull market now at the moment, we had a halving over here in April 2024. And from that moment now, we have been going sideways for 126 days. We can go even longer sideways, for example, 154 days or 160 days before that box is green and before we go into that massive run, which means it can take another 40 days. 30 to 40 days, which means it can take another full month or maybe six weeks even, which means we will add up mid of September towards end of September. We will start to find the beginning of this green box. So mid to the end of September. That is when we will start to go up slowly again and create a new all-time high. And to be very clear, from here, 2021, all the way till the top over there in 2022 took a very long time 
It's almost the end of 2022. It was almost the end of 2021. It took more than a year in total. Just calculate the candles. So this green box from the end of September 2024 can take all the way till the end of 2025 before we reach an all-time high. That is what you need to understand. Then we have one more cool chart. I found this one also on X. This one on the left is the Nikkei, the Nikkei index. As you can see, this one's from 1950 to 2014. And we can see the movement that they did. Yeah, one, two touches, three touches, four touches, bam, massive run to above it. And then bam, we came down towards that level again. Now Bitcoin looks exactly the same. We had one, two touch of the parabolic curve, three, four. If we would now do this fifth top move over there, that would bring us all the way up to these levels over there of 1.7 million. But this is in the year, just look to the bottom, 2028 to 2030, somewhere in that area. So it can take a very long time that does mean we are now here in this last fifth wave move at the moment. Fifth wave move there. One, two, three, four, five. So one, two, three, four, five. There's where we are. And that could end up always at these numbers somewhere in this area, guys, before we pull back to these uh, levels again of well, around 100K. So really cool chart, of course, uh, this is just uh, speculating. This is not like really a chart that you need to analyze, but just to show you how other assets have moved um, in these cycles as well in the last decades. Now, this is what Bitcoin is doing as well. Hopefully now this move will follow. I hope you really enjoyed those charts, guys. Yes, in the short term, again, volatility. I've been keep saying it to you guys. It's always 50 to 60 to 50 to 60 to 50. To 60. Like this bandwidth that we are in, maybe even to 70. We could go to 70 and back to 60 and back to 70. Like this whole bandwidth is just that boring summer that you can use to multiply your Bitcoins through trading, for example, or through using my bot because the bot is still making 3.5% uh, per month. So in the summer, that will make 3 months of summer, three times three and a half, is a 10% profit in Bitcoin. So one Bitcoin becomes 1.1 Bitcoin. It's an easy tradable summer for an algorithm like a bot because we keep bouncing up and down and we need volatility for a bot to perform well, guys. Now, uh, what do I expect for the future? Yes, the long term. I've been telling you already for many years, the long term, the top will be in 2025. We will slowly increase again towards the end of this year, probably create an all-time high between mid-September and December, all-time high above 74K, so there will be like 85K or 94K, something like that. There will be an all-time high. There will again be a pullback and then again another run in 2025 to a new all-time high. That is what I believe that will happen, guys. Now, that were the charts for today, guys. Now let's quickly jump into the last part, the inspirational part. Yes, this was a longer video, sorry for that, but I just really needed to give my opinion about that freedom of speech part. And that took a little bit of time. Now, let's jump into the inspirational part. That inspirational part, guys, also has a little bit to do with all the news that I talked about today. Um, you should be climbing mountains, not just for the world to see you, but for you to see the world. Sometimes it's good to take an eagle view of everything that is happening in the world. So if you climb up high to a mountain, you can look down on everything down below you and you can see exactly how everything is playing out. And in these times that you're living, I think it's very important for each of us to zoom out, look at that eagle view. I'm not talking about Bitcoin. I'm talking about what is happening in our world. What are they doing to our world? What are they doing to our freedom? What are they doing to everything that we were used to have in the last two decades of living. That normal life that you were able to live, that you grew up in as a child. Do your children still have that same life? Or do they have a complete different life? And what will the children have in the future if we just say yes, meh, that kind of yes, sheeping yes, to everything that those governments are now deploying on us? If we keep saying yes and accepting whatever they now introduce, 
what kind of social credit system, what kind of freedoms we still have on speech or doing whatever we want. If we just say yes to whatever they do at the moment, we will all collectively live in a very big social credit system. And that social credit system will not be a freedom system. It will be a system where you and I can't decide anymore what we want to do or what we want for our children. If we, for example, don't want our kids to be vaccinated, that social credit system will freeze all your assets until you have vaccinated them. For example, I don't know YouTube is now gonna push my video a little bit less, and I know it will get less views. I'm not here to score views. I'm here to share the truth. So if we now keep saying yes to all of this, our future, but also our children's future and the next generation future is gone. Complete freedom will be gone. So at this is the moment we need to climb up that mountain, not to show ourselves, to see the whole world. I think it's a very important quote. I think people need to really start realizing it's not just only about you. Yes, of course. I always say, focus on yourself to create your own happiness. That is true. But there is also a bigger collective that you need to live in to feel that happiness. And if that bigger collective, that life that you need to live in is being disrupted in many kind of ways, you really need to take a look at it. So you need to start to climb those mountains, not to show yourself to the world, but for yourself to see the world. And then you will see exactly what is going on and you will understand what they are trying to do and you will understand what kind of future they are trying to achieve for you and your next generations. And when you really understand this, then you really understand that there is only one tool at the moment that we can really still use to protect all of our freedoms. And that tool kind of is the blockchain, a decentralized solution that they can't stop, an unstoppable tool. And on that blockchain, we have an unstoppable asset that we should all be using. That asset is called Bitcoin. And the moment we take away all the assets from their system, because we know they use the dollar, the euro, and all those fiat currencies to take control, the moment we take away those assets and put them in our asset, Bitcoin, the asset they don't have control on, that is the moment you're also fighting in a very peaceful way against that whole centralized disruption of all our freedom rights. People should start to understand that Bitcoin is not only about a Lamborghini or a big house or a beautiful lifestyle. Bitcoin is also the gateway to freedom, not only the freedom for ourselves, but also the gateway to freedom for all our next generations. The moment we use their assets, US dollar and euros, they will stay in control. The moment you start to understand we need to use our asset, a decentralized, unstoppable asset, Bitcoin, that is the moment we will take back control. So yes, Bitcoin has a way bigger message to it than just a tool to become rich. It's gonna protect our generations and all the next generations against all those centralized entities that want to take away our freedom. Bitcoin is a gateway to freedom, guys. Now, that was everything for today, guys. I hope you really enjoyed today's video. Yes, it was a little bit serious maybe now and then, but sometimes that is necessary to be as well because yes, it's all about to be or not to be. If you did enjoy the video, then give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends and family, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, and leave a comment what you think about the charts and about everything else I had to share with you guys today. I wish you an amazing week from this beautiful place here in Spain. Amazing week ahead of us. Uh, yes, a daily video, of course. Maybe a lot of live on Friday. Let's see. Uh, first of all, thank you for watching this one and see you tomorrow again. Bam.